So you're thinking about getting a cat, but you're not sure whether to get a male or female cat. You may have some questions. Are male cats more affectionate? And why do female cats live longer than male cats? I am the cat butler, and these are my ragdoll cats, Timo and Aria. Today, we will explore the key differences between male and female cats. We will also go over how spaying and neutering your cat and breed type can significantly change a male and female cat's personality. Male cats tend to have bigger faces than females. If you look at Timo, his cheeks are more pronounced. Timo, let me try to measure you. Hormones are the main reason why male cats have big heads and chubby faces. The male sex hormone, testosterone, is responsible for muscle development and bone growth. This results in a round face and a large head, leading to that tomcat look. One thing to note is if you neuter your male early, his cheeks and head may not be as big as there is less testosterone to develop the muscle and bone. For Timo, I neutered him much later, so his head and cheeks were able to develop a bit more. You may ask, what is the purpose of such a big head? Those big cheeks that contribute to the big head act like a piece of armor when male cats get into fights. Unneutered males are generally more territorial and do not like to live with other male cats. Therefore, a big head comes in handy for protection. Territorial aggression is most common in homes with multiple cats. In the wild, cats mark their territory by hissing, urine marking, or attacking other cats. Keeping other cats away is what makes your kitty feel safe and is also a way to protect their resources such as food. While any cat can exhibit this type of behavior, adult males who have not been neutered are the most likely to display it due to elevated testosterone levels. Male cats will spray urine all over the house to mark their territory. And male urine tends to smell worse than female urine because of hormones and pheromones, which can make male cat pee stink for days. Female cats can be just as territorial as males, sometimes chasing, hissing, and swatting unwelcome guests. You can address the aggression by placing pheromone diffusers around the house. It will help reduce conflict between cats living together. The most effective thing you can do to prevent territorial behavior is to have your cat spayed or neutered. Neutering reduces or eliminates spraying in 85% of male cats and makes cats less aggressive. Male cats tend to be a little bigger than female cats, even if they have been neutered early. On average, expect your cat to weigh 6 to 12 pounds and stand about 8 to 10 inches tall. Female cats hit puberty earlier than male cats. And as a result, male cats grow at a slower rate than female cats and finish maturing later in life. The size of your cat will also depend on the breed, with Maine Coon and Ragdoll cats being on the bigger side. Quite possibly, the biggest difference between male and female cats is their personality. However, whether or not they have been neutered or spayed actually plays a major role in their behavior. As mentioned before, unneutered males are more likely to be aggressive towards other males. On the other hand, when they are neutered, they generally become much more laid back and are extremely sociable, playful, and affectionate. Male cats form close bonds, both with their owners and with other cats, even when they are not from the same litter. So if you're looking for a cuddle bug or like your cat to be more outgoing, adopting a male cat may be your best bet. Females, on the other hand, are stereotyped to be more independent, standoffish, 
and less playful. They may not be as welcoming to guests, but are intensely loyal and devoted to their owners. It is their maternal instinct at play, and happens even if they are spayed. Many pet owners often notice their female cat staying by their side when they are sick or feeling down. Female cats don't display the in-your-face affection male cats do, but still care for you in their own way. It is also important to note that the cat breed also has an impact on their personality. For example, ragdoll cats are super affectionate and loving, whether it is a male or female cat. Timo and Arya both like to cuddle with me and love to follow me wherever I go. So when you are choosing a male or female cat, consider the breed as a factor. If you enjoyed this video so far, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. We make videos on helping you become the best cat owner, so please join us. If your male cat is not neutered, they will always be on the lookout for a mate. The drive to find a female companion is strong, and male cats travel long distances in search of one. Roaming is an obvious cause for concern, since felines may get lost, walk into traffic, or be picked up while on their quest for a mate. Indoor cats who don't have outside access may show their desire to roam by pacing, scratching at the door, or by trying to sneak outside. This also applies to female cats. Unspayed females will go into heat and look for a mate. They do roam in a smaller area than male cats. Male cats have outdoor territories, almost three times larger than female cats. While your cat is in heat, it's likely she will become very affectionate, flirty, and start meowing loudly. She will try to find a male cat, and male cats will be equally keen to reach her. Pet parents may be alarmed when their male cat starts yowling at all hours of the night. This is a mating call to attract nearby females. In heat females may respond to these vocalizations, which can cause the male's vocalizations to become louder and more persistent. The sound can be hard to live with. A potential solution is neutering and spaying your cat, as this would eliminate the behavior. Do male or female cats live longer? On average, female cats tend to live slightly longer than male cats. While there can be individual variations based on factors such as breed, genetics, and overall health, research suggests that female cats have a slightly longer life expectancy than males. This difference may be due in part to the fact that female cats are less likely to engage in risky behaviors, such as fighting, which can lead to injury and disease. Male cats also are more prone to certain health conditions, such as urinary tract problems and heart disease. However, with proper care and attention, both male and female cats can enjoy long and healthy lives. Neutering and spaying your cat can also help let them live longer. This is because there is a reduced risk of getting cancer in the reproductive system. Urinary blockage is a painful and life-threatening condition that typically affects male cats, especially among neutered male cats. Male cats have a longer and narrower urethra than female cats. What is a urethra? It is a tube that drains urine from the bladder to outside the body. Because male cats have a narrower tube, it has a higher chance of protein or stone blocking the urethra. If the blockage goes on too long, the kidneys start to swell and become damaged, leaving the bladder to potentially rupture or tear. Urinary blockages are always a medical emergency. These blockages can lead to kidney failure within two to three days and even death if left untreated. There are some things you can do to reduce or prevent urinary blockage, such as increasing their overall water intake. Water consumption is an important part of flushing debris from your cat's system and preventing blockage. These include having a water fountain, as these encourage cats to drink more because of the running water. Wet or raw food is also better than dry food 
as it contains more water. Lastly, the other thing you can do is change your cat's diet to prescription diet food that focuses on improving your cat's urinary health. I hope you were able to learn the difference between a male and female cat and that it helped you decide which gender is right for you. There's no wrong answer and both genders make wonderful companions. In my own experience, Timo and Aria are both great in their own way. Timo is the life of the party and makes friends with everyone. While Aria is not as sociable, but extremely affectionate towards me. I feel lucky to have both of them. It's also important to keep in mind that not all cats fit the male and female stereotype and that some have unique personalities. Although the behavior of a cat can be influenced by its gender, the way that it is raised can also have a major impact. Kittens that are handled and socialized early have a higher chance of being friendly and affectionate. The breed of the cat also matters, with some breeds more friendly than others. So keep all these factors in mind. If you'd like to learn more about breeds that are affectionate, I'll link the video in the description below. Comment down below, what is your experience having a male or female cat? And do you prefer one over the other?